Hello everyone, this is the guy and welcome back to some more World of Warships and today we are taking a final look at the tier 6 French battleship, the Normandy, and we have a good battle for you guys. Now I have actually shown this ship off prior and that was in a live stream that I did to show off the low tiers of French battleships and if you would like to go maybe catch a few battles in it, I will put the link down below in the description. Uh, but let's actually carry on. We are playing on two brothers. We are mid-tier. Uh, we actually, there is actually a carrier in this battle. There is the Colorado, Hiryu, Nelson, Normandy, New York, Britannia, Pensacola, Galley, Bajoni, Konigsberg, and two Fergates on the enemy team. There is a Hiryu, two Lions, Normandy, Koning, Storrs, Leander, Galley, Emerald, Konigsberg, Farragut, and a T-22. And, oh boy, this battle was something else. So obviously main thing is right now is the carrier. Uh, Normandy does have very, very difficulty with dealing with carriers. Its AA is not particularly uh, viable. It's It kind of sucks if I'm to be perfectly honest. So don't expect to be shooting down a lot of planes, especially if they are tier seven. So keep that in mind. Uh, try to be near cruisers that have good AA. Uh, but the enemy carrier is definitely pushing back our uh, friendly planes, and now we are currently spotted by a enemy destroyer. Now here's another thing uh, you definitely want to keep in mind and what not to do, and we actually see this in this battle and in the Leon battle that's going to be being posted on Friday. Uh, what not to do. So, obviously, destroyer is ahead of us. It is a Farragut. Uh, but still we are being spotted there is four ships aiming at us so it's probably a better idea to get some slight cover not that i'm really being able to disappear from being detected but get some slight cover and we do have a friendly nelson coming in now the nelson as many of you people may or may not know i really do like the nelson watch what this nelson captain does now i do play a little bit more cautiously our destroyer is finally getting in. There is now Hiryu dive bombers incoming. And once again, the AA on the Normandy is quite lousy. We do get a plane, which is beneficial. Which is extremely beneficial. And we did get three fires. Uh, but the enemy CV doesn't follow up with torpedo planes. Keep an eye on these planes, actually. Alright, so let's actually talk about the guns. You have 12 guns, uh, exact same as the Fuso. So you can get pretty good uh, firepower down range. Main thing about this, as we did just score a Citadel on these doors, is the fact this version is something else. Uh, it's definitely a lot better than the Dunkirk. Dunkirk's dispersion is lousy as all hell. Uh, but still it just seems to go every which way sometimes you get those amazing salvos where they're super tight or at least better yet a couple of those shots are super tight but for the most part you are going to have to have difficulty uh, getting consistent uh, shots to land now this this uh, Nelson is just not not be intelligent. Uh, there are both the destroyers, uh, T-22 and the Farragut are both on the side and the Nelson is just pushing out. Just just watch how quickly this Nelson gets melted down. And keep in mind the Nelson does have a new ship button it that is available for it every uh, single time it is available. But yeah, this is what not to do. So I do switch my attention over to the T-22. Uh, main if only the only ship uh, that I could really hit but fortunately that T-22 is still alive and things aren't going very uh, smoothly for our poor poor Nelson captain and as you can see the majority of the enemy battleships are on this side there is both the Normandy as well as two Lyons so yeah things aren't going very well but hey we got a t-22 took out the enemy uh, destroyer uh really not what i would really expect a battleship uh to be doing but yeah he was a threat and as you can see 
we're technically the only ships on the side. We do have a cruiser incoming, and as you can see on the minimap, there are two cruisers now pushing down towards sea in a battle with CVs. But you may, especially those that are keen of eye, may have noticed something very unusual about the enemy CV. Something's occurring. Let's see if you guys can figure it out uh, in a little bit. So obviously, probably going to be a really good idea to start pulling away. Uh, being outgunned and outclassed is not the best idea. So to ensure that I survive, I am going to pull away. Now, to traverse on the Normandy is decent. Um, it's not the worst thing in the world. But the main issue with the Normandy is the fact that you do have to show a lot of broadside. Now, the middle turret does face forward, so it does take a little bit longer uh, having to get it turned around to face the rear of the ship just to get it off. But once it is turned around, you still have at least 12 shots. Another nice benefit of the Normandy, as we are just now starting to gather, is the fact she's actually pretty fast. Uh, she can get up to 31 knots which makes her very, very capable of being able to reposition and getting into a better place to shoot. Uh, Normandy on the enemy team is starting to push forward, but fortunately for us, uh, the Leons decide to turn around and focus on the threat that is coming from center. And as you can see, that's a nice hit on that destroyer. Uh, as you can see, we actually have a friendly battleship that has now entered that main channel, and that is the Colorado. We'll, we'll see how well it works out for them. All right, so I believe the Farragut's low on health. Normandy on the enemy team is starting to push up, and one major issue with the Normandy is the fact that she does have fairly weak armor. You do have to be extremely careful and get about 10,000 points of damage against that Normandy, which is is decent, but the enemy destroyer that was hiding in that smoke screen is now dead, but he did get his revenge on the Konigsberg and did leave this Konigsberg very low in health, uh, 552. Now at the moment we are uh, doing our right against this Normandy. He did knock out our guns. I will have to say that seems to be semi-frequent and that may be because I am uh, running the secondary protection plan build on my Normandy instead of the main turrets. Uh, but yeah, you could probably not use that instead focusing on your main guns because your secondaries are only semi-decent. Now the friendly CV is doing a really good job. He is helping push back this Normandy and our enemy team is starting to actually start to dwindle away. Our friendly team is trying their best, but as you can see, they're not really pushing down that middle channel. They've actually stopped on that corner and haven't gone any further. Now there is a Emerald and two Leons down there. There is no destroyers and something else is currently a little bit off about this battle. And that is the fact that we really haven't seen the enemy CV's planes. Hmm. I wonder what happened. And it looks like the Normandy actually finally takes out uh, the Konigsberg. Uh, the Konigsberg was very low in health. And look at that dispersion. Pretty decent. Um, penetration values. It's hit and miss. I think it just really comes down to obviously how much angle. And as you can see, the Normandy is giving us a very sharp angle. And he is doing a really good job about this, uh, providing that nice sharp angle. And one good thing to keep in mind is the Normandy does have a decent turning soaker radius as well as um, a decent rudder shift time. Now we are currently being spotted by planes. And I am nervous about this because unbeknownst to me, I'm expecting an air attack from the enemy CV because... Well, we just saw a fighter and more than likely the enemy CV is going to bring in some torpedo planes. And once again, the Normandy's AA is kind of lackluster. So things aren't, aren't the best situation as far as a possible threat from the enemy CV. And look at that dispersion. 
and of course I fell a little bit short and Normandy is very low on health I opened myself up and this is the major issue about the Normandy is just to get that rear turret you have to show a lot of broadside uh, but fortunately we're able to get turned in and take very minimal amount of damage so I will gladly take this all right so maneuverability is nice on the Normandy speed is nice Major drown other downside besides obviously the main issue with uh, having turn up broadside is um, you only have one gun uh, to fire forward, so you can't really stay bow in. Yes, you could say the same with the Fuso. Uh, it does technically four guns, and now you can see I'm actually reacting to the fact that there is a enemy CV, and look how quickly all those ships just died. Good lord. Ooh, we had what three ships die in a matter of five seconds something like that something like that all right so chasing off this normandy uh ap doing decent amount of damage and this is another thing the armor on the normandy is weak um for the most part i could more than likely get a decent damage on a semi broad or semi uh, bow in Normandy uh, just firing AP because it's main de deck armor and as you saw there uh, took a pretty big hit uh, it's very weak now I do switch over to HE and you can kind of see how that dispersion is we only landed three shells out of 12 um, definitely not the greatest and once again enemy CV is not really doing anything I think he's AFK which is good news for me. Now I don't have to worry about torpedo planes. Now I was very cautious because there is a Le Leon behind me, but I don't think this Leon's really paying attention to me. And let's see, can we finish off this Normandy? Uh, should be able to. There we go. Cut kill number three. Normandy's very low on health, and as you can see, the enemy Emerald and Leander are starting to push into B. Now we are doing really well on points we're almost 200 points ahead of the enemy team and I think we're gonna win this but I still want a few more kills and we do know there is a emerald which everyone that has ever played the emerald or has ever shot at a emerald is essentially the Omaha 2.0 it has very very thin armor and very susceptible to AP and its Citadel. Now we do have a friendly, and that is a Pensacola, but he's not having the best of luck against both the Leander and the Emerald. And the two ships seem to have actually been able to take out the friendly Pensacola. Uh, that's the benefit of the British AP is taking out a low health light cruiser like the Pensacola is. Actually, I believe it is technically starting to be a heavy cruiser. Um, it's very easy. All right, Leander and Emerald are the only two ships really left alive uh, that I can definitely shoot at. Uh, enemy CV is spotted and is probably gonna go down. And yes, he was AFK for the majority of this battle get a semi-decent hit but he did actually ricochet three of my shells so that lander still kicking and i do have to be uh careful about the lander because the lander does have torpedoes and torpedo protection on the normandy is not particularly the greatest uh emerald in his wise decision decides to come out broadside to a battleship how does this favor and look at that dispersion Ooh, that is good. Confederate and Devastating Strike. And that is one dead Emerald. And the Leander decides to pop out with 341 health. And can we get Kraken? Kraken is actually available on the table. Shells are reloading. And it looks like he is going to try to uh, dodge around. And probably a good idea is just fire off one at a time or all at once surely one will hit and there we go kraken unleashed so our team earned a victory brought home 382,508 silver 6,910 xp we earned confederate devastating strike and kraken 
95,404 points of damage. Not the highest. Uh, actually, prior to this one battle, I had, I believe, two or three battles where I did well over 100k. Uh, but due to the fact that our team were potatoing around and deciding not to capture bases, we lost them. So I didn't really want to show off a defeat. I thought this was pretty decent, uh, especially getting that Kraken, which is always so nice. 65 shell hits, three plane shot down. Yeah, once again, the AA on the Normandy is not the greatest. Five kills, three citadels, and one captured base. We were top of the team. The base XP of 2,214 points of XP. Uh, Damage-wise, Normandy was our highest with 40,000 stores with 19,000, which is always actually really nice to see. Nice even number. Emerald with 18,806. Lander... 6,000, T22 is 5,629, and helped with the Farragut a little bit there. Uh, AP did 90,983. AP is very beneficial against cruisers. Uh, you can easily citadel them, but it does not tend to be the best thing against battleships. I'm not saying use HE. No HE. Use AP. You can get still good damage, you just are going to have a much more difficult time actually getting that Citadel because the Normandy's shell size, which is 340 millimeters, tends to not be very good actually penetrating all the way through the thick armor into the Citadel of some battleships. So use AP, but if you need to use HE, as you did see, I did shoot HE against that Normandy. Probably could have finished him off with AP if I'm to be perfectly honest, but I thought Fire Chance would be also bene beneficial as well. Uh, anyways, we're going to go ahead and jump into port. I will see you guys in just a second. All right, everyone, welcome back to the port. And I have to say, I like the Normandy. I think she is a fun battleship. Uh, she's very fast. She has decent guns. Uh, there are some things that are less favorable for her but for the most part she's a fun uh tier 6 battleship and gives you a really good idea kind of how uh the normandy actually operates but let's go ahead and take a look at the stats and as many of you may or may not know i have actually shown this off uh, i did a live stream with the french battleships to show them off but i figured i'm gonna start off uh moving on from the normandy and do a full video on basically what it's like to have a fully upgraded Normandy. So starting off, survivability, you have 48,300 points of health. This is the main issue <laughs> with the Normandy is the fact that her health pool is actually lower, almost slightly better than the New Mexico's A-hole. You don't have a lot of health. It's actually the lowest as far as health compared to any of the other tier six battleships. Uh, for example, the Fuso has 57,100. So yeah, the health pool on the Normandy is quite considerably low. And another main fact is her armor is thin. It's very thin. Uh, as you can see, uh, the torpedo bolt only gives you 20 millimeters. And if we take off that, we do have a 240 millimeter right here. But once you get down to the Citadel, it is only 20 millimeters. So long range AP is devastating. I've been Citadel close range too, especially with uh, any sh battleships with 380 millimeters or up. You're going to eat Citadels. Uh, and this is the main issue with the Normandy is that her armor is very, very weak. And to get all the guns off, you have to show a lot of broadside. Because for the most part, your only main gun that's in front that you don't really have to show a lot of broadside is this front turret, and that is only four shells. The Normandy has three quadruple 340mm, which are small caliber shells, but you have to show a lot of broadside just to even get this last turret to actually fire. You have to show a lot of broadside, and that's the major downside uh, for the Normandy. Uh, she does have 12 total guns. Uh, they do have a decent low, uh, decent damage, uh, 9,500 for 340 millimeters. But once again, they're 340 uh, millimeters, which is very small compared to, say, the Fuso, 
which has 356. Uh, does 10,200 as far as AP damage is concerned. Uh, they do take a 30 second reload time. Uh, I do normally recommend obviously getting expert marksmen. Uh, so the turn time of the guns is 38.3 seconds. Uh, dispersion is better than its counterpart, the Dunkirk. Very much so. Uh, less uh, likely to miss, but you still have that French dispersion where it just kind of goes every which way. But you have 12 shots, so it kind of compensates for that fact. Uh, max HE damage is 4,700 with 26% fire chance. AP damage is 9,500. Good firing range, 19.8 kilometers. Uh, AP velocity does have a little bit of a hang time, 780 meters per second. Uh, HE velocity has 921 meters per second. So semi-decent, uh, I would say, especially against uh, cruisers and maybe some lower tier battleships you can do very devastating citadels but uh higher tiers and almost the same tiers you are going to have a very difficult time actually penetrating and citadeling enemy battleships uh but you can obviously citadel normandies because they do have a weaker armor profile just like yourself Moving on to the secondary, she does have a decent amount. She has six dual 90 millimeters. They fire every four seconds. They have uh, 1,300 points of damage with a 5% fire chance in a 5.3 kilometer range. Uh, then you have the 18 single 139 millimeters, very similar to a lot of dreadnoughts of this time period. They reload very slowly, 10 seconds. They have a max HE damage of 2,000 with an 8% fire chance and a 5.3 kilometers. Now your secondaries, if you go for a secondary build on the Normandy, could be pretty devastating against any destroyers that decide to try to really rush you. Uh, obviously, the major downside is the fact that your secondaries have a very slow reload time, especially compared to, say, the Bjorn or the New Mexico. Uh, not as very potent, so you do have to keep that in mind. Moving on to AA Defense. It's it's really not that impressive. You have four dual 13.2 millimeters. Average damage is 14 with a 1.2 kilometer range. Then you have six dual 37 millimeters. Average damage is 14 with a 3.0 kilometer range. And then you have six dual 90 millimeters. Average damage is 23 with a 4 kilometer range. Not that impressive. Uh, the Fuso, in comparison, has better flak than you. A lot better guns, AA guns, and obviously the reason why I really do want to show off uh, the Normandy compared to Fuso because the Fuso actually has the same amount of main guns and is, I guess you could say, somewhat similar playstyle to the Normandy. Now the Normandy actually has something in her favor. Yes, she does have weak armor. Yes, she does have to show a lot of broadside, but there are a few things that help compensate for that. She's fast not historically accurate accurate uh fast uh the actual normandy did only about 21 knots i think something like that it was obviously very slow it was a dreadnought style slow but in the game it is 31 knots i do have the speed flag so yes that does increase the speed so she's fast 31 knots is impressive for a tier 6 battleship fastest as far as her tier and chip type. Turning Soaker Radius is nice, 640 meters, uh, very similar to the New Mexico and the Arizona. So nice, tight turning Soaker Radius. Rudder shift times decent, 13.4 seconds. Uh, obviously the Fuso is a little bit faster at 12 seconds, but with that nice, tight turning Soaker Radius, you're able to turn a little bit more tightly and get yourself more angled so best way probably to play this ship is by uh using that turning circle radius to your advantage being able to angle against incoming ap shells from other battleships now he damage is a major factor uh french battleships tend to take he quite a bit and i know i'm kind of jumping around uh but if we take a look at the armor layout 25 millimeters and this is going to be the case for most of the main uh, deck armor and bow armor and superstructure 16 millimeters. So she is going to take a lot of HE pens. 
Uh, for the most part, around tier six, a lot of cruisers are starting to get 203 millimeters, and they do pretty devastating work against uh, Normandy. So, so you do have to be careful about cruisers. Moving on to concealment, pretty decent, 13.5 kilometers. Uh, I believe the Arizona is 12 kilometers, so a little bit smaller as far as detection. Uh, but the Arizona has a slightly shorter range, so it's 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 compensation for having a longer range. You have a slightly bigger bigger concealment than any other ship, but concealment's not bad. Thirteen point five uh, by air, it is eight point nine kilometers. Now, while in smoke, is thirteen point seven, which is honestly not bad uh, if you can. Uh, use smoke and take advantage of that fact. It's pretty pretty good. So moving on to that What I would recommend as far as upgrades very beneficial is Probably going to be the range upgrade get that additional range out to 19.8 kilometers from 18 kilometers and then getting the engine upgrade you go from 29.4 knots to 31 makes you a little bit faster. Honestly, you could almost save that for last and go for the whole upgrade. Uh, this obviously redu reduces your rudder shift time and gives you more health as well as additional AA defense. Moving on to upgrades, uh, very similar to a lot of things I normally recommend. I did go for auxiliary armaments mod 1 to increase the health. Uh, this captain actually shares with my Dunkirk, uh, so that's kind of why it's there. Uh, damage Calm Mod 1, Aiming System Mod 1, and then Damage Calm System Mod 2. Honestly, you probably get Steering Gears Mod uh, 2 as well. It's would decrease your rudder shift time, which would prove beneficial, and that's why the Fuso is actually a little bit better as far as that, far as that rudder shift time. Uh, as far as consumables... Uh, very basic you do have the basic heal so nothing too impressive there moving on to captain I would highly recommend priority target expert marksman superintendent just so you have that additional heal and then concealment expert now this is where you could possibly diverge depending on how you want to play if you want to go for a manual secondary build or just get your secondaries a little bit further out aft is very beneficial uh helps both your aa guns as well as your secondary guns uh getting fire prevention is very beneficial you could even get basics firing training if you want your secondaries to go off a little bit better and if you're really ballsy maybe manual fire control but honestly not that very beneficial uh adrenaline rush highly recommend Always very nice to have your guns firing a little bit faster every time you lose uh, a certain amount of health. And possibly a uh, high alert just so you can have your damage control come off cooldown a little bit quicker. Uh, but with that, we're actually going to end this episode and we're going to say goodbye to the Normandy. I think I'm actually going to keep the Normandy. Um, might be a good tier 6 to have around just in case I want to have a little bit of fun. Uh, but does not replace my love for my Fuso, so... But it does come pretty close to it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the like and subscribe button. You guys have a great and fantastic day. Zai Jen.